Alan. Good morning. Good morning. What's for breakfast? Having some kaya toast, some eggs, and some coffee. What do you usually eat on a cheat day? On a cheat day, oh, I eat everything, but I really love to eat burritos, mm. pizzas, and burgers. Mm, sounds yummy. Usual routine on rest days? Usual routine on rest days, I like to, you know, just chill out and also maybe stay active, do something light. Actually, do you want to come with me to the gym right now? Yeah, sure. Let's, Let's go. do it. So how do you get to and from the gym? I like to take my motorcycle. And what motivates you to stay active? I've always enjoyed doing sports growing up, and now as a father, I think it's important to set a good example for my children oh, too. So course. that's why I go to the gym. Of course. Mm -hmm. Do you usually gym alone? I usually do, but I like to come with them too, and also some of my friends. What else do you do for exercise? Morning. Morning. I like to do a lot of sports, you know, play basketball, tennis, go running, beach volleyball, snowboarding, yeah. And what's the one sport you've always wanted to try but never had the chance to? I would say it's probably kite surfing or something like that. Mm. Are you the adventurous type? I like to say so. I heard you just turned the big 5-0. Happy birthday. Mm. Thank you. How does 50 feel? Feels all right so far, you know, still sinking in right now, but, uh, but hasn't been as jarring as turning 40, so it's okay. And what is the new 50 movement about? Ah, the new 50. Let me tell you about that. The bulk of cancer diagnosis in Singapore happens after the age of 50, so SCS launched the New 50 movement to encourage people turning 50 to add cancer prevention into their health regime. Awesome. What made you join Singapore Cancer Society as the New 50 ambassador? No, I think as someone who is very, very athletic and likes to you know, be active, I think it's important for all of us, including myself, to set a good example and get the word yep. out for everyone that cancer is something mm. that can happen to all of us. So oh, it's very, very important for us, I think, to understand that uh, we can all do our part to get people to go out there and try and you know, do some more cancer prevention. Absolutely. A word of advice for people turning 50? I'd say, you know, definitely, you know, take care of yourselves, you know, be more active, more vigilant about our bodies. Don't take it for granted. Mm. And of course, go out there and do our cancer screenings. And one thing about your lifestyle that you're trying to change or start in your 50s? One thing I'm trying to change, maybe uh, take more time off. You know, don't, don't push myself so hard because I like to push myself hard. Mm. But also, you know, stay active and stay healthy yep. and continue to set a good example for my children too. Fantastic. So what's your usual healthcare routine? Usual healthcare routine is I like to stay active, but more importantly, also do regular health screenings. Any health concerns? Not really any health concerns right now. Most important thing right now is just maybe some joint issues from just too much exercise, but so uh, far so good. Lucky you. Gone for any cancer screenings before? I have actually gone for cancer screenings. I think they're very, very important. What are three words that come to mind when you think of cancer? Three words that come to mind. Wow. For cancer, I'd have to say unpredictable, widespread, and preventable. Mm. And have you picked up your first ever fecal immunochemical test or fit kit since turning 50? Actually, I haven't yet. I need to get that done. Ah, and what does fit kit test for? Mm. The fecal immunochemical test is a quick, safe, and easy step to detect colorectal cancer early by looking for trace amounts of blood that are not visible to the eye in our stool. So for people that are turning 50, I think it's important for them to do this test, even if they don't think they are people that might be susceptible to uh, colorectal cancer. What are the other common cancer screenings recommended for people above 50? Mm. I would say for women, it would be breast and also cervical cancer. But for both men and women, of course, it's got to be colorectal cancer. Uh, will you encourage your friends and family to actively screen for cancer? Oh, absolutely. I think it's very, very important to do screenings. Yeah. Um, I would also say this is important because here in Singapore, cancer is the number one killer and almost mm. 15 people die of cancer every single day. So whether you think you're healthy or not, it's very, very important. Wow. Hey, do you know that there is a type of women's gynecological cancer that can be prevented? I actually do. It's cervical cancer and it is the 10th most common cancer here in Singapore for women. Um, and it is highly preventable. What do you know about HPV vaccinations? I know that virtually all cervical cancer cases, 99% are linked to HPV genital infections. Uh, HPV, unfortunately, is untreatable and there is no cure. 
So the best form of prevention is to get vaccinated. And um, right now, I think women up to the age of 26 should get it all done. And SCS, along with Tomasic Foundation, are providing at no cost HPV vaccinations to women 18 to 26 uh, with valid CHAS, blue and orange. There are actually over 300 clinics wide that are offering this, so there's no excuse to go get vaccinated now. Cool. Would you encourage your daughter to get the HPV vaccination? Actually, she's already vaccinated, you know, but I think it's important for all the younger generation to be informed and educated so they can make their own choice and also take the necessary steps to prevent cancer at an early age too. Absolutely. And what do you think will motivate more people to go for cancer screening? Mm, I would say if it's affordable and accessible. Uh, earlier I mentioned the Fit Kits. Those you can actually collect online at no cost. Also, uh, SCS is offering cervical cancer screening at its Bichon Clinic at no cost. Um, also, there's this mammogram funding assistance for $25 at selected public and private institutions island-wide during these campaign months. So right now, with all these offerings, I think there's no excuse for all of us to get these screenings done to try and detect cancer early. Should we move on? Yeah, let's go. Let's go. So, Alan, any advice for savvy silvers looking to kickstart an active lifestyle? Love that word, Savvy Silvers. Mm -hmm. It's about being savvy and about being active. I think it's important for all of us, you know, to do whatever we can to stay active and stay healthy and get the most out of life. And of course, includes getting our cancer screenings. And will we be seeing more of your dance workouts? Oh, all the time, you know. I can't wait to do more dance workouts. I need to work on my choreography. Just got on TikTok, so looking forward to doing more of that Ooh, too. Oh, can't wait to see. And okay, where else will we get to see more of you? You can see me a lot here in the gym, but also I'm doing a new show called Cool Hotels in Chinese. That's Kuli uh, Dian on Channel U, where I travel around the world and showcase all nice. these very interesting and fascinating hotels. On top of it, you'll see me online. I started up a online streaming company called Real Live Go, where we're selling some cool products also. Uh, and yeah, you know, just hoping to see more of you around, around here in the gym. Wonderful. So I have a question for you. Uh-huh. Since we're in the gym right here, we'd like to do a workout. Let's finish up this workout together. Come on. What? No, 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 no. Come no, on. thank you. Bye. Let's go. Come on. Bye. I'm out of here. <laughs>